Hi, I'm Willie and welcome back to my channel. Before we get down to the content of tonight's video, which will be port forwarding with a micro tick, I would like to thank everyone for pushing us over the 6,000 subscriber mark. Uh, at this point, I think we're over 6,100 and it is awesome. I never thought, you probably get tired of hearing me saying this, I never thought that I would ever have one subscriber, let alone over 6,000, so I thank you all. And while I don't have a huge giveaway, um, I do have a set of precision screwdrivers. Uh, it's it's not much, um, you know. I do I do have a couple sets of these, but I want to give I want to give one set of these away. And how we're going to do this is I'm going to let this go until the next video. Um, but what I want everybody to be able to to participate in this. So what I want is your best clean clean. Therefore, I can use this over and over and over and over without fear of my audience. Best clean joke. So the winner will be picked um, not only by me, but by how many uh, likes the comment gets. So post your clean jokes, uh, any dirty jokes that are not family friendly. Uh, at this time, I will um, have to toss those out. All right, so back to the um, the video. We are going to do port forwarding in our Microtech, and there's going to be a, a simple port forward. And um, I really wish there was more more um, more hours in the day. There's so much cool stuff that we we've still got to get to. So, but the days are getting longer, which um, means that I I will have some more time. So. Um, I'm not making any promises, but I'm hoping to be able to put out content a little more, a little more often. So maybe I'll double up on the weekends or something like that. But anyway, let's get to it. So we are back at our micro tick 192.168.88.1. And yes, we are in the dreaded web interface. Everybody says to use Winbox at this point. I think though, I just, I want to try it through the web UI. So we'll log in, and you can see that our WAN interface is 192.168.66.38, and we are going to go over to the firewall configuration, which is under IP and then firewall. Now this has a default configuration on it, which uh, a, is probably pretty good. I haven't tested it, so this thing is sitting NAT inside a NAT. So um, <laughs> I haven't put it out on the front lines yet. I have the other MicroTik device, the the hex that that I'm I'm also playing with. But what we are likely looking at is NAT. And first of all, you can see that we've got our uh, masquerade rule in here, and it's source NAT. And if we add new, the first thing it's going to do is it is going to ask us which chain. So if you're familiar with Ubiquity, the way that we do it over there, we have destination NAT or source NAT. Well, source NAT is if we are matching you know, specific internal networks or IP addresses to an external IP on our interface. We're not. We're doing destination NAT. So we would drop this down and go to destination app because that is the chain that we want. Our, even though this looks complicated, which um, it, I mean, it can definitely be intimidating. So don't don't get me wrong. There's a lot of stuff here. So we are going to deal with just a few of these, and I encourage you to play around and ask questions and get involved and figure out what everything you know does so um, what we're gonna do is we are gonna we're gonna select the the destination NAT and then we are gonna go down to these are divided up into sections so you got general advanced and extra and under general we are going to select protocol TCP and destination port is going to be 80 and our N interface is going to be, um, uh, I believe, okay, on this, it should be, 
Ethernet 1, because that's where our internet comes in. We're going to test this from my phone, so we'll see whether this works or not. Because my phone is on the outside of the network. It's in the same network as the uh, WAN interface of our Microtik. Then we're going to skip advance. We can really get into this. there, And we will eventually at some point get into this. Um, like I said, there's just so much, you know, and, and I, you know, I, I do this because I love it because I want you to be educated. I want you to get as excited about this as I do. Um, but I do have other responsibilities, you know, um, that, that take the forefront. This is not my, my full time, um, you know, occupation, but, um, I, I get in there what I can and I, I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, now we're going to go down, um, to the action. And you see that, and at first it says accept, but everything we've entered to this point, we haven't, you know, put an IP address on the inside or a port or anything like that. So what we've got to do under action is we're going to drop this down and we're going to click uh, the DST NAT. So now what it's going to do is it's going to give us the option to put an IP in. So we're going to grab the IP of this machine, which is 88.254. So this is going to be 192.168.88.254. And we're going to forward that to port 80. And we're going to apply that. And there's some other things you can do. Uh, it's got the graphs and everything. Um, and I haven't used these, and we'll put a comment in here, web server test. I don't know if you could see those um, graphs or not. And we haven't tried to pass anything through there yet, so that's what we'll get to in just a minute. And let's see. So now we can see we've got this rule. This is what it this is what it looks like. So real quick, we're going to grab a um, just a quick web server for this, and we'll see if we can get some traffic going. Hold on, just a second. Okay, so the web server we're going to try since I don't want a big bloated piece of software running on here all the time. We're going to try this tiny web server. Hmm, this looks suspiciously the same. All right, so it says that it's listening on port 80. So if we go over uh, here and we pull up our uh, quick set, we can see that we're at 66.38. So um, I'm going to get on my phone and I'm going to go to that IP address in a web browser. Okay. So so that's working properly, but it doesn't look like, like our rule is. So what did we do wrong here? Is Ethernet 2 master firewall on? Okay. Aha! So, <laughs> there I thought I configured the micro tick incorrectly when it was our Windows firewall. So you see this screen here, and then on my cell phone, you can see the exact same thing. So you can see that uh, we are successfully uh, forwarding port 80 through. So that is a really quick port forward. Take a look at that. Get your hands on this. Oh, look, now that the firewall is off, um, we're starting to increment some some traffic graphs and things like that. That is really cool. That is pretty nifty. So I'm going to be playing around with this even more, exploring what all the options do, comparing them to firewalls that I already, you know, that I already knew what they do. So, um, you know, you can get one of these guys, I think for 19 bucks, there's going to be uh, a link down there. So in the, in the comments, but if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe, please share, please comment. And, uh, you know, once again, thank you. And I look forward to your jokes and I'll see you in the next video.